My name is Laura Page Kyber, and I'm an assistant curator working in performance. And I'm here today to talk about Anna Martine Whitehead's Force, an opera in three acts. It runs for three shows on March 28th, 29th, and 30th. Anna Martine Whitehead is a choreographer, dancer, and performance maker based in Chicago. It's a very exciting time in her career since not only will this be the world premiere of the work, but also the start of a national tour, which is a huge undertaking. It includes a cast of dancers, vocalists, and musicians who come together to take up the force of will that is needed to inhabit the in-between space of a prison waiting room, which is where the opera takes place. Martine is drawing on her own experiences of being in those spaces after her work as a teaching artist with PNAP, the Chicago Prison and Neighborhood Arts and Education Program. And she's also visited loved ones of her own in prison. It's an ambitious, surrealist sci-fi opera that uses that liminality of the waiting room as a way of examining how people occupy and move through carceral spaces and how audiences might encounter or embody that experience. Martine describes what happens between the audience and the performers as somatic solidarity. It's something of a momentary embodied experience of being inside the prison walls while still being on the outside. She's looking at how institutions show up in and around us all the time. For example, when we wait in lines, navigate buildings, maneuver through bureaucracy, all as a way of gaining a deeper understanding of how even in our incredibly different situations, we are all nonetheless connected by carceral structures. Ultimately, Martine wants to also portray hope in the presence of these spaces and communities through music, song, and dance, how they can be filled with camaraderie, joy, and fellowship even if only vicariously in the moment of performance. There are a cast of dancers, vocalists, and musicians. So there's a live band, a choir of vocalists. And the set takes symbols recognizable from prison spaces. So for example, there are cinder blocks on stage, stark lighting. The audience will enter into the theater through a non-traditional route from the lobby to the stage. So you'll actually be forced to navigate the MCA's fairly complex building in order to reach your seat, which is not dissimilar from the experience of entering a prison. Martine is someone I personally have known for many years now. She has worked with a lot of Chicago's performance makers, including Lynn Hickson and Matthew Goulish, the lead artists with Every House Has a Door, a physical theater company here in Chicago. And that's where I first encountered Martine as a performer. And then I experienced her solo work through an in-progress presentation that she did at the museum in 2018 that was associated with an exhibition called Groundings. But she's been working on Force, the opera, now for more than four years. And this is probably her most ambitious project to date, with a very large cast, including musicians who are well-known in Chicago's music scene and in very high demand. So something that is incredible about the work is the way they have all come together to prioritize this project and continue to make space for it in their very wildly differing schedules.